Julie Malone with us from Salem Memorial District Hospital. Julie you might introduce yourself and tell a little bit about yourself so I know a little more about you as well. Good morning. Yes, I am the mammography coordinator at Salem Memorial. We've been at, we've had the program established for a little over two years now, um, and we are growing, and it's an exciting time. You know, the hospital's growing. We're going to be adding MR out there, so yeah. And uh, we're having you in today uh, because of the particular month. We're in the month of October, which is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, as I understand. Correct. So you might delve into that just a little bit. All right. So we have a few things going on this month um, just to help encourage women to get screened. Um, one out of eight women will be diagnosed with breast cancer in her lifetime. So we feel like breast cancer awareness is a good time to encourage everyone Um you know, they recommend you do your annual screenings um, after the age, beginning at the age of 40 and then mm -hmm. every year after. Um, and then they also recommend the baseline at the age of 35. Um, and now, you what know, does that mean, baseline? That's your very first okay. mammogram, yes. Um, so, you know, I think a lot of women don't realize how at risk they are, um, unfortunately. I, especially in our area, I feel like a lot of women don't, you know, don't do that annual thing. So um, I'd like to encourage all the females in Dent County to, to do that for yourself. Um, it's a quick process. It takes about 10, 15 minutes. Um, we have you pre-registered. You walk in, let me know you're there, and I come get you, and we get you taken care of. So a very simple thing to do for yourself. Well, I know it is a, uh, a big concern uh, all over the country and the world, for that matter, mm -hmm. but in Dent County, uh, you touched on the fact that there's been a lot of women over the years that uh, didn't get that particular medical procedure done. And, of course, is I, I think uh, a family in Dent County actually had something to do with really getting this program uh, to grow and offer more services to women for breast cancer awareness. You might delve into that just a little bit. Yes, we are very blessed to have the equipment that we have. Um, that was do a donation from Herschel and Julia Mosier's um, parents. Mm -hmm. They are actually located in Joplin. I'll say their last name. Hopefully I don't mess it You'll up. You'll do it fine. <laughs> Pier Domenico's. Um, so, yes, we, we wouldn't have this program if it wasn't for them making their generous donation. We're extremely blessed. Um the Hologic equipment that we have is top of the line. Um, it's the best that you can get out there, out on the market right now. We do, you know, we, I get a lot of questions about whether it's digital, 3D. Yes, that, you know, that's the standard of care these days. Um, and especially what makes our equipment different um, versus other equipment in the area, um, we actually give our patients a lower dose of radiation which is a positive. Mm -hmm. um, Absolutely. We, we do the 3D imaging, but we also do a 2D image, and that gives us more information. Um, but with the 2D, most equipment makes a second exposure for that image. But with Hologic, the equipment that we have, it actually generates the image with the software. So we don't have to make that second exposure. So as, That's a definite advantage. That yeah, like. definite advantage. Mm -hmm. um, it, I think, you know, the other ones might be located in like Columbia, St. Louis, but as far as in this local area, we are the only one that offers that technology. Well, we would be real remiss if we didn't mention Julie's family, Julie Malone's, or excuse me, Julie Mosier's family and, and their contribution to this service in the Dent County area. So we do extend that thank you and, and sincere gratitude to them again for that very, very generous donation to the Salem Memorial yes, District yes. Hospital. And thank you, Julie and Herschel, for helping be instrumental in making that possible. So it's uh, Breast Cancer Awareness no a Month, and we're encouraging women to get in and get uh, their appointments made. 
They can call me directly at 573-729-5917, extension 2436, and I'll be happy to get you set up um, with screening mammograms. Typically, you do not need an order for your exam, um, maybe certain insurance, but you can call me and I can help you out with that. We can figure that out. Um, we're also, if you're uninsured, we um, the Mosiers also help establish a fund um, to where we can help those women who are uninsured or underinsured that live in the local area. Um, we also do fundraising, and that's through the foundation at the hospital. We help um, those women. So if, if you're uninsured, give us a call. We're also, also doing an event this month in honor of breast cancer awareness. So October 19th through, I believe, the 22nd, um, we're offering 50 free mammograms for the wow. uninsured. Yes. Okay. So if, if you need help with that, again, just give me a call and I'll help you get set up with it. And that's really, as I understood it, at least when this all started with the Pierre Domenico's, was the target group that was really in mind was the uninsured that just go through life, don't have the mammograms mm -hmm. until all of a sudden there's <clears throat> a health issue and they're breast cancer has gotten just too, I don't know what the proper word to use, but too far along in its progression and their health is in tremendous danger. Right, right, yes. Um, and that was a personal goal of mine as well, was to help grow um, that program. And we also um, now offer Show Me Healthy Women to the women of Dent County. That is in, we do that with the uh, health center. Right. Um, so that's another option out there. So really there's, there's no reason for, for any local women to not take advantage and, you know, get this test done for themselves. Well, Julie's probably not aware, but I am uh, pretty heavily involved with the Dent County Health Center and we are excited about that program getting started. It's, uh, the coronavirus again did kind of, it <clears throat> slid us back in terms of when we could initiate the program but finally right. during the last month we've been able to get that program up and going and Sandra Hedrick uh, as uh, the works as the uh, nurse with us at the health center uh, Sandra's also on the health board mm -hmm. but that's uh, irregardless and all of this is part of this whole process to help improve the health of women in Dent County absolutely so, Julie what else you put me on the spot, Bob. <laughs> I realize that. Um, and uh, I apologize for doing no, that. But, uh, <laughs> you, you know, we, we are just doing the best we can do under the circumstances that's right. we've got. I know that, you know, with COVID, that's made everything interesting and hard for everyone. Um, you know, I think a lot of women have backed off on getting their screenings because of that. Um, but, I, you know, we do all the proper precautions at the hospital. We clean everything we um keep everybody separated you know as far as er and outpatient visits um so we really do try to make it a smooth quick transition you know for you to get in and out of the hospital um so i would like to encourage everyone to give us a call and we'll get you taken care of so there's the key call julie she's going to give you that phone number and extension again here in a few moments call julie She'll walk you through the entire process all the way from, you know, registrate, actually coming to the hospital, uh, the particular protocols so that the coronavirus is not a, a scare to you, not a concern. Uh, she'll work you through that in the application process and the ac actual procedure itself. So just call Julie. She's going to give you that phone number, and we'll go from there. 573-729-5917 extension 2436 okay so call julie malone at salem memorial district hospital get set up to perform that very very important mammogram uh, here during breast cancer awareness month thank you julie for coming in today